before mixing up your resin, make sure that you're working in a well ventilated area. If you have sensitive skin, you may want to use uh, gloves to protect your skin um, and wear any um, protective eyewear um, or even use a dust mask. All resins are slightly different to mix up. This one by Pebio comes with a resin A and a hardener B. And you need two parts of the resin A to one part of the hardener B. Easiest way to do this is to use a mixing cup. It goes by volume, so there's no weighing that's required. There are measurements on the sides of these cups, and these ones allow you to work in quite small quantities. So to begin, I'm going to remove the lid from resin A, and I'm going to pour out 10 millimeters into my mixing cup. Resin A is quite thick, so it does come out relatively slowly. Try not to pour it from too great a height because that will just introduce more uh, bubbles into it. So I'm going quite slowly, as low down as I can. There we go. So that's my 10 millimetres of resin A, to which I'm going to add five millimetres of hardener B. Now hardener B is a lot thinner, so it does come out a little bit quicker. So just be aware of that. There we go. So now that I've got my total of 15 millimetres of resin, I'm going to take my wooden stirring stick and we're just going to gently begin to mix the two together. As you can see, it does start to go a little bit cloudy. That's fine, that's just the chemical reaction between um, the resin A and the hardener B starting to occur. You want to mix thoroughly but gently. So again, we don't want to introduce any bubbles to the mixture, but we do want to make sure that they are completely and thoroughly mixed. So try not to whip kind of or whisk the mixture. Now to doubly make sure that it's completely mixed together, I like to take a second mixing cup and pour all the mixture into that second cup just to make sure that if there was any of the thicker resin A kind of hiding at the bottom of this initial first cup that I can get to scrape it out and pour it into the second cup. So again, I don't want to introduce any air. But I'm going to scrape all the way around to get all the resin out of that first cup and put that to one side. And I'm just going to continue mixing. What will happen when the mixture is completely combined is it will actually go a little bit clearer. So that cloudiness that I mentioned will disappear and it will go back to being totally clear. Which I think we're just about there. Now that we have our resin mixed, we can use it clear or we can start to add pigment. I'm going to be adding in the Perlex powder this is a really great powder. You can use a small amount of it to create quite a translucent effect or add more in to create more of an opaque effect. I'm actually going to be using a small plastic spoon just to add a small amount of my Perlex powder going to use that same mixing stick again and again be careful not to over mix and create bubbles but yet thoroughly distribute the colour. You can see it goes really quickly and easily. Make sure that it's completely mixed. As you can see that was a small amount of the 
pigment and it's a fairly light colour, translucent colour that's created. If I wanted to make a darker or more striking opaque colour I could just keep adding Perlex powder until it was the desired colour. But now your resin is mixed and is ready to pour into your moulds. We'd recommend using a silicone mould um, to cast your resin into. Um, it gives the best effect and it's so easy to remove. And that's how you mix your clear casting resin by Pebio. Once you've mixed and coloured your resin, it's time to pour it into your mould. I found that one of the best ways of doing this is actually to use a spoon and putting a small amount of resin on the spoon and helping you to pour that into the cavity. You've got much more control over how much resin you are putting in and you're less likely to drip and overfill the space. You want to put enough resin so it's just short of the top edge of the cavity but not so much that it's going to flow over the top. Once your resin is in the cavity you need to leave it Depending on the temperature and humidity where you are, approximately 8 hours, I tend to leave it overnight just to make sure. Um, tap a finger onto the back. If it doesn't feel sticky anymore, it's ready with these to remove. With these silicone moulds, they're really easy. Just a quick push from the underside and the resin will pop out fully hard, ready for you to turn into any type of jewellery that you want.